Another scripture says that the love of God does what? Constrains us. So I want to do something so bad. I can't do it. Why? Because the love of God constrains me. I want to mess up so bad, but I hold myself because what? The love of God does what? Constrains me. Is a knob. I want to curse you so bad and use the F word without any control. But because I love Jesus, what happens? I keep my mouth short. D do you understand me? The love does something to us. We will not be a generation that just loves the love. But the love does not change us. No. Are you with me? Do you still love me? Because I love you. But Jesus loves you more. And his love does something to you and I. So it doesn't matter where you were, no doubt. But when you come to Jesus, you don't remain the way you are. You move to becoming like him daily. That's why the things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to say, I say them no more. The secular songs I used to listen to, I listen to them no more. Why? 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 Oh, you don't even know that song. <laughs> do you understand me? What you used to do, you can't still be doing it and be calling the name of Jesus. Let's stop it. Do, do you understand me? This is standing in the gap. Oh. The words I used to say say them no more I can stand before you today I used to be very angry and when I'm angry I beat a whole man I don't care how big you are anger is a spirit and when it comes upon you just like when the spirit comes upon Samson you are able to do more than when you are done they'll be like is it that little that did this wreckage. Yes, because it is a spirit. And so you can't be an angry bird before you met Jesus and still be an angry bird. Right? Do you still love me? It is standing in the gap. You need to know who you are first and then you take yourself out of the picture. Your needs and your wants and your troubles and you begin to seek God's agenda. That's what standing in the gap is. 2014, I was sick for over two years asking the Lord to heal me. He didn't. I prayed. I fasted. I guess what? The Lord has a funny sense of humor. Now I was praying for people and they were getting healed, but I wasn't healed. How many people will still love the Lord when what they are asking for is not done? And yet God is doing through them the same thing. How many people? Huh? Nobody? We love the Lord. I can't believe this. Wow. Manchester. Manchester United. Manchester City. Why were you quiet? So if <laughs> So if the Lord doesn't do what you are asking for, 
but the Lord is causing you to do it for others, you won't be okay because none of you put up your hands. <laughs> but this is God, right? These are realities. And that's why some people get really angry with God because what they are asking for is not done and God is doing it for their neighbors doing it for their friends doing it for their family members but he's not doing it for them or imagine having same need and you are able to go with your neighbor I have the same need with you and I'm still able to go we have same need we both need children we both need a baby right are you married? Well, <laughs> you'll be married. I need to say this, that God is releasing kingdom marriages to fight. You see, you see, you see you, you see you, you see you, do you see you? <laughs> what a loud noise. What happened before? Tell your neighbor, you see you. But guess what? God is doing it not for selfish reasons. It is to fight in the coming days. We are living in interesting times. And if we don't understand this, we'll do ourselves a disservice. So I'll go back to what I'm saying. He's looking for a child. I'm looking for a child. And God says to me, stop praying about yourself. Pray for him to get a child. I need a child. I should use my mouth, right? To confess over myself. But God is saying, no, don't pray for yourself. He's saying need, I know, but pray for him. Stand in the gap for him. Would you do it? I like the fact that it's not loud because that's something you think about. And when you find out that that's a struggle, you fix it. Because like it or not, it can be a struggle. Right? But there is a need for people to stand in the gap in these times. I saw on my friends and brothers Instagram about that's Nathaniel about Morocco and Libya right this is do you know this meeting is apt and accurate for the season do you know that do you know that we are meant to be standing in the gap in these times I was talking about not being healed for two years and the Lord was healing people through me and I would pray and at some point I couldn't use my throat any longer and one day I was tired do you know what it means to pray for two years for a thing and it doesn't happen and then you go to all the hospitals in Nigeria they don't seem to understand what the problem is and then they decide I think you need to go to America and then you go to Houston for months looking for healing can i tell you i won't take your time we might sing one song and we'll go are we good <laughs> honestly manchester i love you guys because you are you're confessing your sins like i'm literally just knowing you as i'm speaking <laughs> They took me to Houston. I was in Houston for months looking to the best doctors. And then they go, we don't know. I mean, you shouldn't have this. Or oh, we think it's throat cancer. Or oh, we don't even know. We don't think you should have that. And it was just a mess. As you can see, I'm not a big plus size person. I'm petite, if that's the word they use. So imagine me being half of myself. That's how much 
this has eaten. I was like, I look, you know, ash color. Who knows ash color? Some people said I was ashy. Because I looked gray. Like death. And one day, I was praying as usual, saying, God, what is going on? And he decided to be merciful and helped me. Scripture says, we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit does what? Makes intercessions for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. And he that search the heart of the Spirit knows what he is saying is interceding for you and I. The Holy Spirit decided to help me that day and say, why don't you change your prayer? Is God deaf? I said, well, no. Is God blind? I said, well, no, because he's not. Is God sleeping? I said, no, because the Bible says he neither sleeps nor. So then what? Then he said, why don't you change your prayer and ask him a question? That is he with you. Rather than ask him to take you out of this mess. Ask him, is he with you? And I said, ha, okay, I will ask. God, by this time, my faith has pray when you don't have issues. Store prayers in your bank, in your prayer bank. Don't just stop pounds. Pounds is failing. Naira. Dollar. One minute Ukraine was a good place to school. Right now, that's a different reality. Nothing is permanent. Kingdoms are shaking. Systems are shaking. So you can't put your trust in systems. These are the times to live by God's command. These are the times ravens will feed you. Not because of how much you walked, but how much God has in store for you. These are the times when men say there is a casting down. You say there is a lifting up. Why? Because you know your God. These are the times when men will say, what the Bible says, they that know their God will be strong and they will do exploit even in crazy times they will do exploit they will have hundred folds they will reap hundred folds and that is my reality I'm reaping hundred folds because I stand in the gap do you know what happens when you stand in the gap let me give you a few benefits you see the evil coming and you are able to avert it. You also see the good coming and you're able to position yourself to get it. What an advantage. <laughs> What's an advantage? So I ask you, why have you not been standing in the gap? You don't want to see. Don't you want to know what is coming? Eh? I ask you, don't you want to know what is coming? Your friends that do voodoo, they see, oh, they see. That's why most of the movies will tell you what will happen. They are not done by Christians, but they are other means to the supernatural. And they will tell you about COVID some years ago in a movie, and then you leave it out in 2020. Yes, because they can see they are other means to the supernatural. But you and I have access if only we will use the access. Do you understand me? Oh, do you understand me? You can live and let life happen to you or you can happen to life. I choose to happen to life. That when I show up, life has no choice but to listen. When I show up, Death has no choice but to listen. I happen to life. Life doesn't happen to me. It's a choice. So we are in critical times. And so I said that prayer. 
And I told God, because I was now very low in my faith, I said, God, please, can you, this time tomorrow, which was about 7 p.m., I need a sign. I really don't need a sign to follow God. But when my faith was so low, I asked for what? A sign, like Gideon. I said, give me a sign. By this time tomorrow, I will come to this spot. And if you show me this, I will know you are with me. And I won't pray for healing anymore. Because if you are with me, healing is a done deal. And I said that, oh, you don't believe it. If God is with you, healing is a done deal. If God is with you, you will live in perpetual healing. Yes, baby. Amen. And so the next day, about the time I gave God was 7 p.m. About six something, the devil came and said, psst, 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 psst. It's almost time. Oh. Go and check it. And guess how I knew it was the devil? Immediately I had fear. I was like, mm, I don't want to check. Because if I check and he's not with me, I'm in trouble. So what then will be my right? So I've been praying since he didn't answer. Now check, he's not with me. I mean, then I'm done for. Right? So I didn't want to check. But as soon as I knew it was the devil, guess what I did? I didn't pray, um, get the beyond me, Satan. I curse you in the name of Jesus. When I knew it was the devil, I said, you are mad. You are crazy. It was just me. Nobody is there. Eh? Some of you are well put together. Life has not happened. Eh? When it happens, <laughs> you will still be cool and still be... Mm, there's nothing wrong with being cool. I like to look good. I love my hair. I love it. And I don't just like to look good. I like to smell good. When you hug me, you can't forget me. Ah. Sometimes I put perfume here and here and there because sometimes you enter one room and somebody is smelling and you have to help yourself but... Ah. Because you can't chase the person so you have to just... Let me just change the mood. <laughs> so there's absolutely nothing wrong. Looking good. Smelling good. There's nothing wrong having the good things of life. But there is a problem. When you need to be a warrior. And a soldier. And you are a civilian. There's a problem when you need to be a warrior and a soldier and you're a beauty queen. There's a problem when you need to be a soldier and a warrior and you are an handsome dude with six packs. The devil will waste you. I know we don't like to hear about hell, but hell is real. <laughs> And heaven is what? Real. And Jesus is coming soon. <laughs> truth. You might not like it, but it is the truth. So I told the devil, you are mad. Devil, you decrease. Devil, I say, you de mad. You don't know who I be. I say, you decrease. Ah, you de mad. I say, devil, you decrease. You de mad. You don't know who I be. Because there comes a time you have to tell the devil who you are. But if you don't know who you are, do you tell him? And so. After saying that, I went to check the sign and I saw that God was with me. Guess what? I wept so much. 
and I was repenting. Do you know why I was repenting? Huh? Because his word already told me that he will never leave me nor forsake me. Why didn't I believe it? Why did I need something else to believe that? Why do I need a sign to believe the word of the Lord? Scripture says heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will remain. So why didn't I just believe it? So when I saw his goodness, he led me where? To repentance. And I started to say, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me. And from that day, I stopped praying for healing. And a few days after, the Lord said, Hey, I want you to go to Nigeria. And you go and do a revival meeting called Return. And you would think because I just had an encounter with God, I'll be like, yes, Lord. I actually said, because in my mind I was thinking, what kind of God is this? You have not healed me, you know? And you're sending me on an errand. How will I do it? I'm sick. I don't even have money. I've used all my money. I don't have money to do this. And he was just, he was listening to me ranting. You know, blah, 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 blah. He would just keep quiet. When you are done, what he has said, you must do. You don't do it, you will stay in the same spot for as long as you want. For some of you waiting for things to be in order before you stand in the gap before you make that move I feel sorry for you you might stand there for long and so I had all my complaints but get what his answer was to me three days after somebody calls me from Nigeria and says oh we are a group of business people we pray together and God said God gave me an instruction by the way go to Nigeria go to Unilag, do this revival meeting. It will go to the ends of the earth. It will revive people. It will cause a revival. It will shake. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What up? Hold yourself. All right? Zip it, God. How many of you have told God, zip it? Be honest. Be honest. Since we are all saints. I'm not, Abby. I told him, zip it. That's not what I want to hear. And guess what? This person calls me to say, God told us, we're a group of businessmen and women and we're praying and God told us to go to Unilag to sponsor a meeting. And the face, not to go and do a meeting, to do what? Sponsor a meeting. And the only face we could see was your face. So that's why we are calling and I thought, <sighs> I wanted to say no, because that's my default answer to anything, no. And as I was about to say no, God said, you better don't say no. You said you didn't have money. I've given you money. Oh, yeah, go and do it. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. And so I carried my bag, dusted it, and I told my friend who I met there that I'm going to Nigeria. God said I should go. And she, do you want to know what her reaction was? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? I said, well, I, I know, but God said I should go. The long and short of this is as I was going in obedience, I was being healed. I'm standing today since 20. Yes, that's how it works. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It sometimes will not be convenient to obey. I know that's not the message we want to hear. You want me to tell you, right now, receive it, hey! But this is how it works, guys. So this person you see here is dead. It is no longer I that live, but Christ. You want us to sing, right? You see yourself? <laughs> you see yourself? Because right now we are not worshiping. Right? Of course we are. Scripture says you worship what you know not. And scripture says in Ezekiel 22 verse 30, it says, I sought for a man among them that should make up the edge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it but I found 
none. This is standing the gap. Do you understand me? It would be out of place if I'm telling you something different. This is not a meeting for me to tell you to lift your hands, lift your hands. Do you agree with me? Or you don't? We are here to stand in the gap for the nations of the earth. For Manchester, for the UK, for London, for Liverpool, for Leeds or whatever cities there are. And also the nations of the earth. I have told you the benefits of standing in the gap. Right? One of it was in Nigeria. You know last year, you know some, was it last year or this year? Some people were climbing bank. Um, you, did you see that picture? Did you see the spider woman? Did you see it? Why? Because of Naira. But two years before, because we've been standing in the gap for the nation, God said, don't keep all your money in the bank. And we didn't do that. We kept some money out of the bank. And guess what? In that period, I was a big girl. <laughs> Even CEOs were looking for money. 5,000 naira. I was giving money. Why? Because when you stand in the gap, God speaks. And you position yourself. When you stand in the gap, you see what is happening around. You know that is a shifting so that you can be enthroned. You can be put in your rightful place. God is causing the shaking so that you can get your place and stand in your own place. It's working for your good. All things are working for my good. You see, he's intentional. Why is that? Never fail. Do you believe it that all things is intentional? God never fails. So that's what's happening. So are you going to stand in the gap? Will you start standing in the gap from now on? So that you can see, you need power. All these your friends that have magic. Some of the students in your school, they are doing magic. You have the best. You can scatter everything. Yes, now you have it. But will you use it? Because these times is for those that will stand in the gap. You remember Rayab? What was she doing? She was at the watch, the tower. And so she knew when God was coming to deal and she positioned herself rightly and she was not destroyed. We will worship in a bit or through songs because we worship not just with songs, right? We worship by dying. God told Abraham, go with Isaac and go and do what? Worship me by killing him. What a worship. Yes. Oh, that's not worship. It was worship. Two things happen when you worship. We give God the glory. In songs, by the way. When we also worship in songs, another thing that happens is we are like the sea and you are the boat so all we do is prepare a conducive uh, avenue platform for you to sail so that's why you can be singing a song and you can do it's not about singing songs you like you know and so once they don't sing songs you like you know you are looking when next would they sing something I know? So when they sing something you know, hey, and then you're quiet again. When they are not singing what you know, you should be sailing. And how you sail is Radabayanamakolenanishadeya. 
you pray in your understanding and you pray in the spirit. So many things have been said today by everyone that ministered and they have truly talked about the love of God. All right? So if you live here without knowing the love of God or accepting it, that won't be good. So I'm expecting that as we worship, you will do that of your own free will. All right? I'm, I'm expecting that. Right? We have made you too small in our eyes. Oh, Lord. Forgive us. We are believed in the light. that you are unable to help us but now oh lord we see our wrong heal our hearts and show yourself strong and in our lives and we our songs oh lord be magnified oh lord be magnified. hear our prayer 